to make. Well, you took Trent Richardson early. It improves their run game. The exit of Peyton Hillis to Kansas City Chiefs, I think it's only going to improve. In the West Coast system, you have to have a run game, and I think that it's a good start having Trent Richardson. All right, there you have it. The insight of Mike Carney. Out there. He really does. He is a, he's a big boy. He runs hard. I like that they're getting him involved more. And earlier in the second half, you didn't see much of him until that middle to end of the first half. What you're seeing, Steve, with this J. Sarah offense, they're getting in, in what we call 22 personnel double tight two back and guess what we're gonna pound the ball at you you know where it's going try and stop it I, I, that's just not like Shea Fields we know what type of player he is and his capabilities great job by Josh Rosen seeing that the middle of the field was wide open wide open I mean there was no safety over the top to help out Shea Fields just got to make that catch and here's what I like about that throw is the confidence to still go to Shea Fields after the two drop passes. It was just, you know, hey, we believe in you. Turn, we're not, not going to go away from you. You're still a great player, and you are gonna, you're an impact player, and we need you right now. And you know what? A guy like Eugenio is it's contagious for your football team. He brings the level of play up for his teammates. All right. And they're tired. And they are St. tired. St. John they're Bosco's defense is tired. Hands on the hip. They look fatigued. And Jay Sarah's offense is gaining strength. Brings him down, but Rosen, not the most, the swiftest runner, but smooth. He about can it. hurt you with his feet, and then you know he's been a, doing a great job and getting a lot of good yards with that ride, read, give or keep. And he's keeping it because he's seeing that big hole to that left side. Obviously, you saw it there for another big gain. Yeah, he got time, didn't he? Oh, uh, he did a heck of a job. AJ Holman there falls down. Dante Pettis makes a play on the ball. And this becomes an athlete after that. Hey, you, you're the ball carrier. Find your way to the end zone. Not so, I'm, I'm really surprised that St. John Bosco couldn't get him down, but you can't discredit Dante Pettis' athletic ability there to be able to get himself in the end zone. A touchdown and points on the board that Jay Sarah desperately needs they needed in this him game. Anyway, yeah, I was just about to field. say, Jay Sarah has more two-way players than most teams in the Trandy League. So they're playing Iron Man football. A lot of what you don't see that these days. More so 5, 10, 15, you know, and, and beyond years ago where, hey, you played both ways no matter what, and every team did. But he's an impressive player. He's all over the place. Again, I can't say it enough about this kid. He is a football player. And you go to the defensive side. You got Joe Mathis. Joe Mathis. This guy is one of the most impressive high school football players I've seen to date. Fierce pass rusher off the edge. Big, six foot four, 250 pounds. 50 plus offers. Tonight, United States Army All American selection group comes out, gives him his jersey, and lets him know he's invited to that game played in San Antonio in January. And that's where he'll make his decision on where he's going. Yeah, that's next where we'll fall. find out. That's when we'll find that one down. play by Triple J. James Johnson Jr., number 18, coming up from his safety position, taking on Evan Alexander as the lead blocker and bringing down Charles Tisdale. Their star. Yeah, he's leading receiver, 573 yards, seven TDs. He's one of two receivers in this league going to Oregon State next fall. Think what that and means. And watching him in warm-ups, he's all of six foot four. Big, big target. So They're up ground by and pound. Where I you really at? like what Coach Salter and his staff offensively have decided to do this second half. We are going to run the football, and we are going to break their back doing it. Brandon Marshall teaming back up with Jay Cutler in Chicago is going to be explosive. Their familiarity together gives Chicago's offense instant improvement, not just in the passing game, but in the run game as well. Because of Brandon Marshall's ability to stretch the field, it will allow Matt Forte to do what he does best. The combination of Matt Forte's overall skills, along with Brandon Marshall's big play mentality, is exactly what Chicago needs to make a run at the NFC North title. From NFL Films, I'm Mike Carney.